Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another mod showcase. And today the mod we will be showcasing is called Auto Price Updater. So this allows you to basically whenever you put items on your shelf, they will auto update according to whatever parameters you set up. It is a customizable app, which makes it convenient, but also makes it a little more difficult to install because there's an extra step you have to do in order to make sure that it works properly. So we're gonna run through that really quick and I'm gonna show you what that entails. So here's the uh, mod here. All the information you need is here, uh, including the instructions on how to properly uh, install this mod. So obviously we're gonna do the usual. We're gonna go to manual. We're gonna go to download. And we're gonna click slow download to download the mod properly. And then once that downloads, it'll pop up as usual. You wanna save it to your mod folder, which obviously I have already done. And uh, that folder is here. We're looking at automatic price updates. All right, so we're gonna open this up here. Automatic price updater, you got two folders. And as you can see in the MLL loader, melon loader folder, there are also files of a similar name in here. So what do we have? We have mods and we also have user data, which means that whatever's in these files is gonna go into these files here. So let's click the mod one first. We have our auto price updater there. We're gonna open this up and then you're gonna take that and transfer it here. It's already there for me, obviously, because I'm already using it. So that's step number one. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go back. And then now we have user data and it has this little notepad file here. Go here on user data and we're gonna take this and we're gonna also transfer it over into here and boom, the mod is installed at that point. Now you're not finished because now you have to edit the file. So let's go ahead and open this up here and we have uh, some values and stuff set up in here that you want to take a look at. So you can use this to either do price rounding or you can do straight up flat out price modifiers. So what you want to do first is decide whether you're going to want to round or you're going to want to do modifiers. If you want to do rounding, you're going to go through in every place where it says false or true, you're going to make sure you go in and you type false. Okay. That disables all of these. So set true to add to following amount price or add to the average price on the market, set true to follow price. None of this stuff matters. It's all false. This is all turned off. What I recommend you use is price rounding because it just makes a little more sense. It's a little more easier streamlined. This is probably going to be set to default uh, to, to false by default. If it's not and it's already true, you're good. Uh, set to round up or round down. You want it to round up. And that's that should be default and you want to round the price to the nearest multiple value decimal or dollar and you can either choose five cents ten cents twenty five cents uh, fifty cents or a dollar now i chose before fifty cents and fifty cents is fine give or take you'll probably have a couple of customers who may or may not be happy with the prices but it's not that bad maybe two or three maximum four or five people i've seen actually upset with prices generally speaking it's pretty good if you really want to play it safe and have basically no customers complain then you can do to the nearest 25 cents uh so you're going to change this value to 0.25 so 0 0.25 and it'll round every cost to the nearest whatever you select here uh 50 cent will probably get you more money overall so I'm going to stick to 50 because I kind of like that price point. I think 25 is a little safer, but it is what it is. And once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead to X that out and you're going to save it. So this has been updated. You have your modifier set to do what you want it to do. It's your folders are in the proper folders in your mods folder. Your auto price updater is there and then your user data, your price updater is here. So you're good the it is completely installed you're ready to go so let's go ahead and boot up the game and let's see if it worked all right so the game here is booted i went on ahead and allowed a day to go by i let a day pass so that way we can skip all the formalities and 
you know, letting the customers come in because um, after you install the app, especially if you're not starting from day one, your prices and stuff won't change automatically. You'll have to wait a day and start a brand new day for all the prices to go ahead and automatically populate so you can see the changes. So now that we're here, let's check this out and see if the changes have been made. And we're going to look specifically for items that have been changed today. So I don't have any new items to put up and I already had this mod installed. So there will already be changes from before. But this time we're going to look at all the items that actually changed in price that they tell us changed in price because those will be the ones that will actually tell us whether or not the mod has been working. So let's start the next day. We have hand soap, beer, mayonnaise, and chicken legs. So let's look at the hand soap. Hand soap is here. This is 250. Market price is 226. It got rounded up to 250. Okay, that worked. Hand soap was it chicken leg? Chicken leg here. The profit right here is 467. It got rounded up to five dollars. So that one worked. What was the other ones? I hate the fact that that message goes away so fast. It's super annoying. It should just stay up on the screen until until the day started. It, it pops up for like half a second and it needs to stay up there. The mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Where's that at? Uh, actually oh wait here it is so the mayonnaise here 922 it got rounded up to 950 so that's that's pretty much our indicator that it's working now now if you would have put it on 25 for example as opposed to 50 like we talked about before and we look at this mayonnaise instead of being rounded up to 950 it would have been rounded up to 925 right uh, and for example, this, let's just say if you put the ketchup out here, instead of it rounding up to 260 or to $3, it would have rounded up to 275. Or another example here, instead of this rounding up to 1050, it would have rounded up to 1025. So that's how the mod works. Uh, and it's very handy. Like I said, super convenient to be able to have your prices and stuff change without you needing to actually go in and do so. Everything is slightly pr uh, priced slightly higher than normal. Uh, 50 cents, like I said, is probably a little bit much and some people may still have an issue with it being overpriced. 25 cents is probably the sweet spot, so that's probably what I would go for. Um, to be honest, it's completely up to you, or whatever you're comfortable with. If you're more comfortable with more people having an issue with the pricing and stuff maybe you could even go even higher uh, and just do some experimenting see if that ends up making you more money in the long run at the end of the day it doesn't matter how many people are upset it doesn't matter how many uh, customers you have that didn't have like a perfect experience if the end result is you get more money then that's what you should go for uh, so <laughs> and i know that's like a i know that's like a bad practice uh on a on a human level when you hear that somebody say that you're like oh you're so you're a scumbag business owner you just do whatever is more profitable but i mean it's a fucking video game so do whatever makes you the most money it is what it is so there you go that's the showcase for this mod pretty handy uh you can mess around and experiment with the other versions uh well not other versions but the other settings and stuff in the mod too i just went for rounding because it just makes more sense it's a lot easier and you really don't have to mess with the other stuff as much rounding just seems to be the better option uh but it's completely up to you go in there and change any of those metrics as much as you want and see what works best for your store and yeah that's it that's the mod showcase uh, is this a must download uh at the current state of the game i'd say yes I'd say yes. I, I think you should absolutely download this. It is very helpful. If you do not mind meticulously going through and paying attention to the little message that comes up and going in and individually pricing all the stuff that changes, if you like that part of the game, then don't bother. You know, but I hate that. I hate it. It's annoying and the message doesn't stay up long enough. And going in here to look and see what's there when you have this many products is just, it's irritating and it's not fun. So until they fix it 
uh, I think I'll be using this. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Comments below, obviously, to let me know if this was helpful to you or not. Or if for whatever reason it's not working, you have any inquiries, I will do my best to help you guys out uh, the best way I can. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.